Okay, to do the five-day stock chart, you have to be very careful and select the appropriate data. Should be the column headings and the first five days worth of data for all columns. So let's make some magic charts. Make sure you pick the right one. Okay, our scale is off a little bit. The instruction in the book. Instruction 14 tells you to change the scale. You'll see that this data is not the same way as it was in the form that you opened. It's because I changed it in the form that we opened. The way it was was not professional. Business documents just don't look like that. Should Numbers should always be accounting, always, always. The only thing that changes is whether or not there's a decimal point. Or zeros. Okay, so you'll notice that I took the heading. I just copied it from another chart because it's essentially the same. We just have to change the name of it. Change these ranges. We need to insert the axis titles for the secondary axes. Make sure we get everything out of here like this little guy. My oh, goodness. Okay, so we're going to add the axis labels. Axis titles. Uh, secondary horizontal. seeing it. We're going to need to do some hmm. Oh. That's why. Select that. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's down here. That's not where I want it. So I'm going to undo. Add to it on the axis titles. Primary vertical. I mean, secondary vertical. Let's just say more axis title options. Sorry, like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces in this assignment. Try this. Double click. Come on. I'm going to stop 